Hi everyone, welcome to part four, the final part of our mini series where we have dived into 20 ways to decrease your shopping cart abandonment rate. If you have not checked out parts one through three, we definitely recommend you doing so. You can find those linked throughout this video as well as in the description below. IWD Agency has been helping e-commerce companies improve their sites and revenues since 2001. With all this experience, we have put together 20 of the best ways we have learned to drop shopping cart abandonment rates for e-commerce clients across a number of different industries. Don't let your shopping cart abandonment rate be part of the almost 70% average according to Baynard Institute's research that looked at 41 different studies on cart abandonment rate. Let's dive into these final five ways to improve your shopping cart abandonment rate. Number 16, use live chat to answer last minute questions. Sometimes even an ironclad guarantee won't be enough to help lift your company's shopping cart abandonment rate. In our experience, this is especially true for businesses that offer unique products that many of their customers are buying for the first time. These customers may need a little help to feel comfortable with this purchase. If these situations, even the best, most detailed product descriptions are only going to get you so far. Many customers will still leave their carts at the last second. Offer them the chance to speak to someone, ask their questions and get answers unique to their needs and you'll keep their business. You can even take things a step further like Beard Brand does. They also include a banner on every single one of their pages, but they actually invite shoppers to text them for personalized consulting so they'll be more confident in their answers. This one extra step probably gets a lot more shoppers to the checkout page and keeps their cart abandonment rate low because of the confidence it gives customers in their buying decision. Number 17. Try catching abandoners with pop-up ads. Even if you implement all 16 of the tips we've covered so far, some shoppers are still going to leave. That's why we often recommend exit intent pop-up ads to many of our clients. In short, these are ads that only pop up when a shopper's behavior signifies that they're about to leave. This is what distinguishes them from typical pop-up ads, which many e-commerce marketers don't use because they believe customers find them annoying. In the case of exit intent pop-up ads, you have nothing to lose. The shopper was going to abandon their cart regardless, so why not make one last attempt getting them to complete their checkout page? Number 18, don't give up on shoppers who abandon their carts remarket to them. Even then, you'll still have some shoppers who abandon their carts and ignore your exit intent pop-up ads on their way out. They might have every intention of returning later, but it doesn't hurt to remind them. With a remarketing campaign for abandoned carts, you'll follow up with those shoppers who made it to their final step without becoming customers. It can be as easy as sending them an email to remind them that they left items in their cart. Just like with pop-up ads, there's really no risk in sending out these emails. You can't lose business you never had. This is why many e-commerce companies will actually send multiple emails to shoppers who have left items in their carts. Of course, you need their email address in order to run those kinds of campaigns. So what about customers who don't provide them? In that case, make room in your budget to run Facebook and Google ads. They'll give you an even better return than normal PPC ads because they're focused solely on people who have already visited your site, shown interest in a product and put it in their shopping cart. We would go as far as to say that it's almost always a good idea to cut back on SEO and other PPC efforts if that's what it takes to invest in remarketing campaigns aimed at dropping your shopping cart abandonment rate. Otherwise, your conversion rate is always going to fall short of its potential no matter how much traffic you bring to your site. Number 19, find the leaks in your conversion funnel. Speaking of increasing your e-commerce company's conversion rate, if you're not already regularly viewing your site's flowchart in Google Analytics, I would highly recommend you start doing this as soon as possible. Many of our clients have discovered amazing opportunities to increase their conversions just by reviewing how shoppers navigate their sites. Dropping their shopping cart abandonment rate is a perfect example. We've talked about a few different ways you can preempt an abandoned shopping cart long before the actual checkout page. The point is that even though a shopper may make it there before they leave your site, the seeds of that decision may have been planted much earlier. So when you review your site's flowchart, look for the pages that lose the most traffic. Improving them will just keep more users on your site. 
those improvements may also help you with your abandonment rate too. But don't stop there. Look at the most popular paths you see customers taking to get to your product pages too. Do they offer opportunities to make your visitors excited about placing an order? For example, many of your visitors probably end up on your website because of a blog post. What a perfect place to put images of your products, testimonials, banners for your free shipping policy, and any other advantages of buying from your company. Number 20, A-B test for the best possible checkout experience. Lastly, as you begin making changes to your website's checkout experience, I encourage you to invest in A-B testing to make sure you're always making the right ones. Although we've covered 19 different strategies that I know can improve your cart abandonment rate, every company is different. Some of these methods are going to work better for you than others. You'll most likely have to make some tweaks here and there for the best possible results too. The most effective way to do this is by A-B testing to try out different checkout pages to see which ones earn the most cart completions. You can take the same approach with everything from which testimonials work best to what subject lines get your cart abandonment emails open the most. Although this is the last strategy on the list, don't put it off. While some of these are simple enough that you can probably put them into effect today, for example, adding testimonials, advertising your shipping policy and guarantee, being upfront about your costs, etc., the sooner you become comfortable with A-B testing, the sooner you can use it to improve your cart abandonment rate, conversion rate, click-through rate, and any rate you care about. Convert more of the traffic you spend so much money on. As you may have noticed throughout this mini-series, we're a huge proponent of treating your checkout page as one of the most important on your entire site. Most companies hardly touch theirs at all after the initial version is published. But month after month, they spend large sums on increasing how much traffic they can get to their site. They might invest in new services, platforms, or even new channels. All the while, their checkout page remains the same, so their checkout abandonment rate does too. Don't let this happen to your company. The lower you get your shopping cart abandonment rate, the more the traffic you're already working so hard for will be worth. At IWD Agency, we'd be happy to help. Our team of e-commerce specialists has created a powerful checkout suite that you can customize a number of different ways to fit your business's unique needs. It's cloud-based, responsive, works with PayPal Commerce Platform, and is completely free. You can always contact us with any specific questions you may have too. Thanks for checking in with us today. We hope that you found not just these last five tips helpful, but all 20 in the other part series. Let us know if you did in the comments below. Please also give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Until next time.